Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Unavowed. And we are here in the tombs in Chinatown, guys. We're going to try and talk to Kevin Huang again. Um, we got a lot of information in the last episode, and maybe he'll be a little bit more forthcoming with information instead of ranting about how we killed his parents. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Hey, again. Can we speak to Kevin again? Kevin is kind of sedated right now. Your visit kind of riled him. Maybe later? Okay, apparently not. Yeah, see you. Hmm. Well, we do have that discrepancy between that $25 credit card order and how much was actually purchased at uh, Doug's store. So let's chat with the team here. Yes. Any idea what we should do next? Paperwork is not my area of expertise, but my experience with Eli has shown me that numbers rarely lie. So, pretty much what we were thinking? Yes. We will talk soon, I am sure. What about you, Logan? Hey, what can we do for you? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say maybe the Huangs weren't on the up and up. Do we have anything that proves it? We're going to have to go get that piece of paper off that post-it. We'll be here if you need us. Or off that cork board in their home. Okay. Well, I guess we can uh, travel that way and see what we find. Because it didn't really give us the option to get that. Let's go ahead and thoroughly check everything else here. More carved dragons. We can turn the stove on. I know we're going to end up having to make tea before too much longer. Just because um, that note... Where was it? Yeah. Find the herb I asked you to buy from Doug. Go to the kitchen and make a tea from it. We've got the cup. It's just going to be a matter of time. Have you decided what you want to look up? Ooh. The Baoji Gui. Which literally means banana ghost is often descended as a female spirit that lives in banana trees. In some folk tales from Malaysia, Thailand, and Singapore, people who are greedy will summon the Baoji Gui or some lucky numbers in the hope of winning a large amount of money. They tie a red ribbon around the tree trunk and then tie the other end to the ribbon to their beds. Then they drink a strong sleeping potion to send them into a dreamless slumber. During sleep, the spirit appears and offers a set of winning numbers to the caster in exchange for being set free. If the person does not fulfill his or her promise to set the ghost free after winning, his or her family will be cursed in this life and the next. The spirit is likened to the Pontianak? of Malay folklore. Here's the financial statement. See, this is what I wish we could just pick up. Because that shows everything that we need. I fail to see how I can be of use there. Okay, what about Logan? Yeah, I'm not sure. We may have to grab Eli. Because Eli can point out that discrepancy that for some reason we can't utilize. Maybe we missed something here in the room. Empty set of drawers. We can eventually use the bed, which is interesting. Oh, I know what we've got to do now. Oh, crap. Huh. <laughs> Let's head up to the roof. So what we're going to have to do here, I think. Okay, we've got the old parchment. There was nothing else here of really of interest. We're going to get the spool of red ribbon.
And you're going to put the red ribbon out the window. And then we go around to... The, oh, man. Are we about to summon the uh, banana ghost? It's a long way down. I guess that's what we're doing. Or we can at least get it set up. Because we still need the, the tea. And then tie it to the bed. Man, we, they got one part of this done. Hey, what can we do for you? Heck. I'm gonna go out on... We'll be here. Wait. The book specifically mentioned a sleeping potion. We should try and find out more about it before we continue. Yes, indeed. So we've got the leaf of papers, the lottery ticket, the empty teacup, the note we found. Maybe we need... Oh, no, we can't actually hand the note off to anyone, though. All we can do is look at it. Well, maybe that we have everything set up there now. Maybe we can ask for the herb. That would make sense. Let's head to Doug's Grocers. So I think we're pretty much out of options, at least as far as the tombs is concerned. Hey, you guys need anything? Oh, boo. Back at you. And the receipts. See, this would be the easy thing, is just confront him with the receipt, but he already knows where it's from. Yeah, that's one of ours. Kevin bought some stuff from us before he... Well, before whatever happened, happened. Right. Hey, you got... Back at... Maybe... If you see a dead dude, I'll talk to him. I'll leave the living to you. I have nothing to say. And dried fruits and herbal remedies, raw vegetables, the lotto numbers, of course, which we've already seen. Hmm. I'm really wondering if we're what we're missing here. There's nothing else. We can't grab the any of the herbs. Uh huh. Yeah. Whatever. And we got the ducks. Got the menu. What? Okay, oh, yeah, we can confront her with that. The Bajawi. I said, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, we it. are, ah, uh, we already had. Crap. Stop, I don't. Yeah, he doesn't, she doesn't want to so talk about that. <laughs> Good luck, I guess. And the lottery ticket isn't going to work. Well, where do we go from here, then? Hmm. Maybe... Oh! Okay, I think I know what we gotta do. We have to cross-reference. I think we were just... We were just doing it wrong. So we head over to the... We head back to the restaurant. We go to the per the credit card account, and then we cross-reference the receipt. I derp that up, Royal. <laughs> I I hope this is the correct thing to do. There we go. 
Paid by card. Yeah, I see it too, KK. The numbers don't match. Alright. Now we've got our evidence to go talk to D Doug. It's like, I knew what to do, it was just... I, I utilized the game wrong. <laughs> we had the tools and talent, but not the understanding. Okay. Now. Hey, you guys need anything? Can you take a look at this receipt and credit card statement? Yeah. Kevin bought some stuff and he used his dad's card. What am I looking at here? Both documents list two different amounts of money. Oh. Must be some kind of error. Mr. Huang will have to call the credit card company and get them to sort it out. Jesus, what am I saying? Sorry, was there a point to this? You need to tell the truth. You sold Kevin an herb, but you didn't mark it on his receipt. Tell us the truth this time. Your skill at falsehood is lacking. Seriously, being honest is cleaner and quicker. None of you are cops, are you? You gotta say if you are, that's the rule, right? No, none of us are cops. Okay, fine. Yes, you got me. Kevin bought some hibiscus rue from me. Hibiscus rue. I am familiar with it. Where is it? It's not on any of the shelves. It's not exactly legal. Ah, uh, you run a black market. No, Jesus, no. It, it's harmless. Really, it just puts you to sleep. Yeah, like nobody ever got addicted to sleeping pills before. Hey, you wanted honesty. You got it. Do you want some? 20 bucks for two doses. Yeah, I think I will buy some of that. Sure, that'll be 20 bucks. Ooh. Just dissolve half of it in hot water, it'll knock you straight out. See you around, Doug. Back at ya. I guess he'd have to get all kinds of licensing and stuff in order to sell that, if he even could. Well, time to brew some tea. We've got everything else set up, so at least that saves some time. The usual practice is to place the tea herb in the cup, not the kettle. Can you guys tell that I don't drink tea? If you want to make tea, it is more effective to use hot water. You are just... oh, there. Looks like the gas is shut off. No surprise there. Ugh. Alright, so how do we get the... Oh, this would be a great time for Eli, wouldn't it? Like, <laughs> hey, can we, uh... Get a little bit of fire, please, Scarecrow? Well, I guess... We could go ahead and grab Eli and go, hey... Can you be a friend and take care of this for me? Where can we go for hot water? What? Oh, there we go. Uh, could we have some hot water? What for? Our reasons are complicated. Don't think I don't know what you're doing. I saw you buy something from Mr. Wang. Do I tell Detective Durkin what you've got stashed in your pocket? Hmm? <sighs> Forget it. You have a cup? Give it to me. Whatever you're doing, just be careful. Yeah, she knows. Maybe you could tell us what we're up against? No, no, I'm done with that. I just want to live my life. Uh, that's fair. You want to eat something? I'm here. All right. Step by step. We're getting there, inch by inch. But that's actually one of the things I love about point-and-click adventure games is when that light 
you know, turns on. It's a really good feeling. Alright, a cup of hibiscus root tea. Time to go on a little dream quest, I guess. I'm very curious what a banana ghost looks at like. It's gonna look like Michael Keaton in a striped suit. Singing Harry Belafonte. And... Was there a reason why you did that? Oh, okay. Just We just used the bed. I believe we have performed all of the instructions. Are you ready? Well, down the hatch. We will remain on guard. If you need us, shout. I don't think he'll be doing much shouting. Ew. So help me. If uh, I start hearing sirens and see a guy with a giant pyramid on his head. I will run away screaming. Let's see what the outside looks like. I shouldn't have done that. No. No more. I am tired. You will not let me rest. And now you want more? Well, I refuse. That is my right. I don't want anything. I have known your kind for centuries, human. That is never true. You humans drag me from my slumber. Force me to grant a boon. Again and again. And now, you won't let me sleep. You strand me in this dead world. Oh, Asmel. I'm not... Entirely human? If that helps? You look human. You smell human. I imagine you taste human as well. So what manner of creature are you, if not human? I am Mel Carissa. A spirit of knowledge. I am familiar with the name. But unless your knowledge can free me from this place, then you are of no use to me. What? What is this dead world? Can you not feel it? This is a place of dead things. Halfway between your world and mine. It hurts. I don't want to stay here. Please, send me back! We already know what the boon is, it's the lottery numbers, but... How can I send you back? Kevin Huang. Where is Kevin Huang? He called me here. He is the only one who can send me back. He should have fulfilled his duty months ago. Where is he? Kevin is in prison. Prison? <laughs> he cannot escape his duty so easily. He will return! He WILL release me! He will not be free of nightmares until he does! So, you're the one giving Kevin the nightmares? He left me here! Left me to suffer and go mad! It is only fitting that he share the burden. If Kevin can't come here, what can we do then? going insane here. I am surrounded by dead things. I have not eaten in months. Look, it's sort of my fault. Kevin is in prison. And that matters. Why? Kevin is the only one who can send me back. He is the only one that matters. Uh, just... How hungry are you? Hungry enough that I am considering raw human. Oh. Is there nothing I can do to help you? Are you Kevin Huang? Then no. 
I'm, uh, going to leave now. Be my guest. You try not to notice the drop of drool at the dragon's mouth. Holy crap. Okay. Well, then we need to go talk to Kevin. Oh, you cannot open the door. You are in the land of the dead. You cannot interact with the physical world. But it seems, perhaps, the physical world can interact with you. You can't keep me out here. It is not up to me. How much do you weigh, anyway? Enough, I think. Enough to tide me over. I am your only hope of finding Kevin. Kevin is lost to me, and I have no reason to trust you, or any human. And I am so, so hungry. Oh. Okay. That was awesome! I totally saved you. You look very familiar. You're kidding, right? I'm KK. Duh. I've been following you guys around for like a week. KK? I can see you? Yep. Hi! You're in a land of dead things. Kinda. You're sort of... Between? Not the land of the dead, but not the physical world, either. That means you can see ghosts and spirits. Like me! What happened? After you fell asleep, ghosts started appearing everywhere. They went nuts! Went diced and everything. Tables started shaking, knives started flying, it was kinda cool. But Logan and me went to work. We got him calmed down, finally. Still, whatever is going on here, the ghosts don't like it. I'm really glad we brought Logan uh, into the party then. W where's Logan now? He's out in the hallway. The door locked itself while you were sleeping. It's stuck solid. Even Mandana's sword won't open it. So, I got to rescue you. Look at you. Any ideas on what to do now? I don't know. Find a way back to the living world, I guess. You're alive, so you don't belong here. Not yet, anyway. Well, alright. Let's try and figure this out, then. Okay. Going outside would be a bad idea. Silver-plated bowl. What's in the drawers here in the spirit realm? Empty? Okay. Maybe we can try and go back to sleep? I don't think going back to bed is gonna fix things. Can we go through this door? Huh. Weird. Looks like you can't touch the door. Must be a living person in the land of the dead thing. You got the worst of both worlds. Well, you have me at least. I pulled you through one door, I can pull you through another. Oh, we got KK as an item. Okay... Logan! I saved him! The dragon was like, and he was like, Aah! and then I was like, whoosh! Duh. Yeah, there was a dragon. Looks different than the ones in Trollgate. Kind of disappointing. What do you mean you can't see him? Um, Logan says he can't see you. Can you see him or Mondana? They look like ghosts to me. Huh. Right. Okay. Well, we don't know what's going on, but we'll figure this out. Promise. Maybe- Oh, we need to cut the cord. That's what we need to do. Okay. Um, a big dragon is in that direction. Maybe we should go somewhere else. Okay, never mind then. Let's go down to the kitchen. Come on, Logan. He's going downstairs. A shiny metal pot looks relatively new. Ah! Uh, 
What just happened? You appeared out of thin air. KK says you, what, touched the pot? The pot? There's nothing remarkable about it. Sure is shiny, though. Looks relatively new. Oh, neat. You're back. Quick, touch the teapot again. Logan's scream is hysterical. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so we can go back and forth. Well, this is a new development. And you're back. Okay, so uh, let's have a chat about this. Yes. Why does touching that pot send me back? Mages of old would often use mirrors and reflective surfaces to aid in transferring dimensions. That appears to be the case here. Whomever created the banana tree ritual also created an alternate route home. Quite sensible. Smart idea there, Mr. Wong. What should we do next? Everything depends on Kevin Huang. We need to liberate him from his prison. Let's keep going. Yes, we will talk soon, I am sure. Is that how we get through the tombs? Hold on, let's uh... Let's see what happens. We're gonna go talk and see if we can uh, get Kevin. If Kevin's asleep, if he's under sedation, maybe he can see us in our spirit form. And that's awesome to be able to talk to KK. Hey again. Is Kevin awake? Kevin is kind of sedated right now. Your visit kind of riled him. Maybe later? Okay. Yeah, see you. So that is what we have to do. Yeah, that's crazy. Did not expect that. Didn't expect a dragon in purgatory either. I expected a dragon, but not in that particular that particular form or fashion. Okay, I'm gonna do the thing now, guys. What's up? Well, it's good to finally meet you face to face, KK. Thanks! And you didn't even have to die to do it! Why do I see Mandana and Logan as ghosts, though? That's how the living appear to other ghosts. Maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. Being dead is weird sometimes. But how... How come Logan can't see me? Hmm. Maybe it's because Logan can only see ghosts and you're not a ghost. Guess that proves you're not actually dead! Yeah, we're in like this weird gray area. Any ideas on what to do now? So... Touching shiny stuff makes you shift between the physical world and the spiritual world? Good to know. Yep. Well, let's try and figure this out then. Okay. Let's see how far we can go here in our spirit form. Is the dragon going to be out there? Oh dear. Yeah, bad idea. Back inside. Alright, so the dragon is going to keep us... I just saw a knife stuck against the wall. I don't think I'd noticed that before. Hmm. What a nice ghostly family portrait we have there with the three of them. There's the door. Maybe it's shiny stuff in general. Maybe I could go tr teleport myself. You can't touch stuff, remember? I just love that, the tongue sticking out picture. All right, guys. Well, things have taken an interesting turn, and I think we will go ahead and end the episode here and pick it up next time and see where we go. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. 
and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.